Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight, uh, we're going to talk about both of them. We're going to talk about the Sins. We're going to talk about, talk about Dallas. Um, had a whole lot of people, more than I would have imagined, asked for my opinion. Um, asked how I felt about it. And when I was reading the questions, I realized they were asking more than just how I felt about it. Um, there was a lot of nuance in the questions. Uh, so we're going to answer them all. But how did I feel about it? Disappointed. Disappointed. We're so close to what I would have perceived as real justice. So close. But it fell short. Um, and in that, the question is, is it long enough? It's funny. Because if the sentence had been one year less, I think the tone of this video would be very different. I think it would be anger rather than disappointment. And that in and of itself is sad and disappointing. Um, we're conditioned now to accept something that is less than okay and just be like, well, it's not right, but it's better than I was expecting. That's a problem in and of itself. Um, then another one of the questions when you're actually reading it is an adequate punishment. I don't know. I, I believe prison should be rehabilitative in nature. I don't believe in mandatory minimums. I don't believe in incarceration for nonviolent crimes. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I would say that while all of that is true, when it comes to violent crimes, especially those of this magnitude, I tend to lean the other way. Um, and I know that's not right, but I tend to, I tend to be looking more for retribution than justice. So I don't know that I would be a good person to ask. Uh, <laughs> would a black person get the same sentence if there was a demographic switch? Of course not. Of course not. I'm fairly certain the people that ask this know this. Um, I think they just want it said. Sentencing disparity is a very, very real thing. It is a very real thing. I think it has a lot to do with the ability to get a good lawyer, which has to do with income inequality. It's systemic. It's something that's, that's very present. The evidence is everywhere for it. Um, and the efforts to reduce it have been lacking. There have been attempts, but they haven't been very good. They haven't been very successful. Do I think she got off light because she's a cop? Probably. Probably. Um, that probably had something to do with it. Uh, if you're looking at it from the punishment aspect, I would take solace in the fact that those types of institutions where she's heading they're not very welcoming to law enforcement. You know, staying in general population is going to be bad. The alternative is protective custody, which is basically putting yourself in solitary confinement, which is also not good. So if you're looking at it from a punishment aspect, I think that's probably going to be met. Uh, I, I would be willing to bet that most people who are familiar with these institutions would rather do 10 years as themselves than five years as a cop. And then there's the real question, the underlying question. Was this justice? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's up to the family. I yield to them. I yield to them. And I am sure there is disappointment and there is anger and they are more than entitled to feel that way. It's not even my family and I feel that way. Um, but then you have to look at their actions. You know, the, the statement of hoping it's in time to give, them to give her to reflect on her life. And then Botham's brother saying, you know, I forgive you. And I, I don't even want you to go to jail. And that hug. I can't even fathom that, to be honest. I can't. I can't imagine doing that. 
He was trying to embody his brother. And I can't, I can't, I cannot picture myself doing that. They are better people than I am. Um, and you can look at that hug two ways. I do, anyway. There's the part of me that looks at it and says, you know, we should all be more like both of them. This is what he would have wanted. We should all be more like that. And then there's a part of me that looks at that, and it's just a reminder of the type of person she took away. And it makes me angry. And I'm, I know that's not the intent, but like I said, they, they are better people than I am. Um, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.